A serious issue usually gets a serious response in the Doyle, but it didn't quite work out for, like that for Sinn Féin's Desi Ellis. Tanish, the under Doyle reform that you mentioned there, I wonder will the issue of gender balance and, and the uh, plans to penalise parties in terms of if they don't have a proper balance, will that also apply to independence and how will that be done? <laughs> <laughs> Is your chance to answer that important question? I presume that Deputy Ellis is uh, supportive of the uh, government's reform proposal uh, in this area that we would introduce legislation. The, the issue of how it might apply to an independent deputy, well, this House has. Um, this House has. Uh, this House has addressed many difficult issues, I can't call it. <laughs> and uh, will no doubt in, in the foreseeable future, but I, I have a suspicion that this particular one may be beyond uh, the, even, even the all party collective ingenuity of the members. Deputy Wallace. Uh, Cora, thank you. Uh, just for the record, uh, Deputy Ellis will be delighted to hear that the grouping with the highest percentage of females in this Parliament are the technical group at 25%. <laughs> That's very useful information. 